getting ready to start over here at Oklahoma. Um, for 30 laps of racing here, the Sony Polo Award is to Kyle Collins in the Field Brothers Racing Equipment Car. Um, Kyle, he really needs a good run here today. The rookie of Malik Nevins is going to be on his outside. Um, they would love to be able to gain some points here, even though they are about a race back. Um, Kyle Collins, he's kind of struggled up and down this season, and now to get the pole, he's doing good here. But Richard Johnson, after a wreck over there at Road Atlanta, um, doctor has told him that he needed to be sit out of this race here. And DJ Curtis, driver number 49 car, actually jumped over to the number 20 car for this race. And Jordan Davis, season 7 champion, is back and is going to be replacing DJ Curtis in the um, 49 car and will be starting 27th on the board here today um, so yeah this racetrack is known to be really crazy do not hit the wall is the biggest key at this racetrack because you can slide up and hit the wall easy um, for 30 laps of racing let's go ahead and get it down and underway as the field gets ready at Oklahoma to get this thing underway and going Kyle Collins and the rookie of Malik Nevins. Here we are. 30 laps of racing. And we are underway for round number five. DJ Curtis, who thought he... Oh, Perkins! And the number nine back there. What a save by Perkins. Nearly got wrecked it back there, but Curtis in that number 20 car, who thought he would never see the lead out here this season because he's driving such an utter fun at car in that 49 for this season, replacing Johnson for at least a race or two. While he's in second place right now, Perkins is dropping positions. He crossed that fifth last time, nearly spinning out. Now down to 16. And Perkins, he's got a fast car underneath him, but um, he's just going to have to work his way back forward. Right here, Malik Nevins, the rookie, got in the back bumper of Kyle Collins, the season 16 rookie of the year champion. Got right there. They was close to wrecking right there. They got really lucky there. Kyle Collins and Sean Perkins both did. Um, and they continued on. Here is Jordan Davis back here, running near the rear of the field. This is um, Jordan, the Season 7 champion, replacing um, DJ Curtis, who's driving for this team for full time this season. Um, these are big names that are driving for this 49 team, teammates with Jeff James. Um, and they're not having a very good... They don't have... This team, they deserve a lot better with them big name drivers. They deserve a better ride, but for this season... They're just getting ready and prepped for the next season here as them along with the underdogs back here running side by side back here. Some guys like Ashley Mace back here, one of the underdogs that have actually finished in the top 20 in every race um, this season so far. So Ashley has at least got at least one point every race so far. Um, she's right here in the rear of the field while some of these underdogs try and battle right here to get inside the top 20. While right now, the last points position goes to Kyle Thomas. Battling here for the 10th position right here with Jake Bassinger, Vince Allen. Vince Allen, who's had a pretty bad season as a scene right here. He was battling for that top 10 position, but him and Trent Togger tangled. And a wreck back here happened with Zach Flickinger, Eugene Max, and them. Here it is again. Harpool right there, the rookie, along with Galligan. They just kind of went around right there. And... Some some innocent guys got a piece of that, but Sean Galligan at 64 did a really nice job to get by it there. Sean Galligan, he almost got a big piece of this right here. Here's a replay. What a job for Sean Galligan to get by that. On board Ashley Mace, who is actually finishing the top 20 in every race so far. The rat captain's right here in front of her. Just got on the brakes there and waited for people to get out of the way on the high side. Her and Je Jesse Turner did a good job to get past it. On board the total drum and NASCAR champion.
Jordan Davis with his first race of the season. On board with him. They just did a good job there to be able to stop right there on the racetrack and not pile in. Good job of this, these guys back here to get on the brakes to not cause us any bigger collisions here. Nick Mason, the 48, who um really had a hard collision over there at Road Atlanta. He is over here racing. He had a lot of chest pains after that one collision over there. Him and Luke Martin both. But they are here racing here and trying to keep themselves out of trouble. And there goes Luke Martin. Martin and Hart. There goes Martin around. James Shelley, the right there, one of the guys fighting for the title. Jacob Hart right there. A lot of guys are in this one here, though. Jacob Hart, the points leader, is involved. Jake Bassinger is in it. Charles Jackson is in it. Jesse Turner, Matt DeLeo, Jeff James. Whoa, boy, there's another wreck right here. Th these guys piling in more here. Jesse Turner, um, Jeff James, James Shelley. A lot of guys. Charles Jackson. And right now, your leader is Ryan Acosta. It all started with Jake Part, the points leader, getting into the third place in points guy of Luke Martin. Martin would go around right here, up the track in a rookie of Zachary Chambers. And there went the 61 car around. Trek Togger, what a way to go up the middle. But there went everyone's right there. Look at Demax um, and all them guys. Oh boy, Matt DeLeo just piled in there. And everyone else just kind of made their way through it. Jeffrey Lynn was involved. Um, Sean Gallagher right there on the inside. Um, we're going to have to get some replays. There was another collision right here that involved the one and the six right there. I don't know what happened there, but Luke Martin shot right back up the track while the 61 went around. And yeah, just a lot of incidents there. On board Luke Martin. Honestly, got to be the greatest wreck maneuver right here. He goes up the middle. Trek Togger on board with him. Oh my god. You guys see that hole? He saw that hole. And he went for it. And it worked. Right behind Togger, Vince Allen also made it by. Oh my goodness. The hole opened up on both sides. For both Togger and Allen to go by that one there. On board one of the Rookie of the Year contenders, Zachary Chambers. Oh, uh, just. That's gonna be his race done there. As the cars and people are going by, you can see the wreck happening here. There's people. Look at Togger going by the middle and then. Alex, look at Charles Jackson trying to follow the hole, didn't make it, but the 29 barely got by, the 24 didn't though. You can see how the hole just closed up for like Jackson and Jeff James um, when when Allen and Togger was going up the middle. Ashley Mace has finished inside the top 20 in points every race this season so far. This is the wreck that happens in front of her once again. Oh my goodness, way to get on the brakes there. Oh boy. And still has no damage after the, all this. Oh boy, that was a close call there. Still no hood damage there to the 830 car. Pace cars in, halfway point right here. Ryan Acosta, DJ Curtis, Noah Hart, Kyle Collins, and Nick Mace. Along with Truck Togger and Vets Island right there. Jeff James is off the pace in that 24 car. And then here's some guys right here that don't really get the best runs here. Demax and the 49 here. Jordan Davis giving a good one here in this outing here. But up front, Ryan Acosta, TJ Curtis, Noah Hart, Nick Mace. Curtis is trying to bring that 20 team to victory lane just like with Richard Johnson absent here. 
DJ Curtis. Um, right now, he only has six points this entire season. Um, over there at Las Vegas, or not Las Vegas, but um, Savannah, he ended up getting a 17th place finish over there. And that's all the points that he's actually got. So a 17th place finish at Savannah is the only time he's finished in the top 20 this season. And right now leads the way at Oklahoma in Richard Johnson's car. Believe it or not, this is the battle for the top 20 of points right here. Jeffrey Lane goes by Jake Bassinger for the top 20 spot. But despite their damage on the hood right there, Perkins and Galligan blow by Ashley Mace in the underfunded 830 car. And them higher class teams are still running up to speed here. Just a little off the pace though, running in 16th or 17th and 18th position. Boy, that was close there. When we just coming back up to the battle for the lead, Nick Mace nearly got turned by Curtis. And Mace is trying on Ryan Acosta here. Ryan Acosta in that number 44 Oldsmobile car. The most, the best. He's never won a point Spain event in the Sony Cup Series. He won the season 14 um, Gatorade Dual Race in the Daytona leading up to the season 14 Daytona 500. But Ryan Acosta, the most he has done in the series is finish runner-up to Richard Johnson in the championship for season one. And Acosta, even though it's been 17 seasons, this might be his best season since it, the very first one. Still the battle for the top 20 and points right here. Battle on right here. Jeffrey Lynn, Jesse Turner, and Jake Bassinger. Turner does have a bit of damage to the rear end that is causing a lot of aero drag to drive the car and be a little more slower. And he does have some hood damage there to the front. While Jeffrey Lynn and Jake Bassinger, they are just trying to outbeat this 27 car and at least finish in at, get at least one point this race. Luke Martin, who ended up getting a win last season here at the same track to be able to guarantee himself safety to be inside the chase for the championship. We do not have a chase this season. Um, Luke Martin, he goes by the lap car there. He's right now battling Michael White here for the 14th position. Um, him and Michael White is just trying to make something happen here. With only five laps to go, Ryan Acosta in the number 44. Cybertron Motorsports car. Ryan Acosta. He right now sits about 105 points back. He needs to gain some points here. DJ Curtis in the number 20 is going for nothing but wins right now driving this 20 car. Richard Johnson comes in this race two points back. And even though he's going to miss a few races, I still think Richard Johnson could fight for this title. But even though missing a few races is not going to be very good. Curtis trying to bring this team to a victory lane here because he's a past champion of the series, season 13 champion. Trying to get up there to pass him. We have lap cars in front of us. The guys run at 22nd, 21st, and 20th on the racetrack right now are in the way. Turner right now holds the last points main position to get in, or at least get points this race. They're going to blow by them guys that are battling hard for that 20th position. Acosta leaves the door open for Curtis on the inside. Mace in the back bumper here trying to get one number 21. Curtis is there and the number 20 car what it would be if his first race in this 20 car to win here May swung it way up high there. It's gonna allow Noah Hart to get there. Here comes Curtis the inside here Whoa boy Jeff James gets in the way here lap car in the way of Ryan Acosta DJ Curtis season 13 champion gets away here coming to the white flag lap here final lap for DJ Curtis one more time around, and Noah Hart is there. I don't think Noah Hart's going to have enough time to get there, though. DJ Curtis, who was scheduled to drive an underfunded car all season. His main goal for the season was to finish in top 20 positions. Got called to drive the 20 car to try and win this race here, and he is going to win it. Curtis wins it here at Oklahoma. Richard Johnson ought to be proud of that. He said out of all the guys that was willing to drive, he wanted Curtis to do it. Been racing for in this series since season 10. And got the championship in season 13. And did not get called to be hired 
for a high class team this season. Curtis did not have a very high class team call him to to drive for this season. But he had an owner funded team call for him and that they wanted just to be able to get top 20 finishes to get points and more money, to get higher equipment, and to be able to do something and later down the season get trying to battle for wins. But Curtis He's only finished in the top 20 once this season coming in this race. That was that 17th place finish out there at Savannah. And you can tell that Curtis still has the talent underneath him there. With um, Even though he has that bad equipment, if you put him in good equipment, he can pull it off. And Curtis, first race back for a top class team. And Curtis wins it here at Oklahoma. Let's get you to our finishing results and standings after round number five.